Section 5.2, Pressure. So if you take a book and you put it on a scale, no matter which way you do it, right, if you lay it on its face or if you lay it on the binding of the book, it's still going to have the same weight. However, if you hold the book in your hand different ways, it feels different. So if you hold it flat with your hand on the face of the book, it feels one way. If you hold it with the binding, is it like standing up with the binding, then it feels a different way. This is because the pressure on your hand is different. So pressure is just equal to the force applied to some particular thing divided by the area that it's applied to. So what that means is if you have a larger force, you have a greater pressure. If you apply the same force to a smaller area, you have a greater pressure. So this is why things like needles hurt when they poke you, even if you don't press them that hard. Very small force, but also a very small area. So when the book's resting on its cover, the force is distributed over a larger area. The force is just the weight of the book. The weight of the book doesn't change. It's distributed over a larger area, so there's less pressure on your hand. Now in terms of liquids, you've experienced the way that pressure feels in a liquid if you've ever swam to the bottom of a swimming pool. If you swim underwater, you feel pressure. If you swim deep enough underwater, you start to really feel pressure inside of your head. This is caused by the weight of the water above you and the weight of the air above you. The deeper you go, the more water there is above you and the greater pressure you're gonna feel. So this liquid pressure that you feel is equal to the weight density of the liquid times the depth of you or the object. So it would be the difference between if you were five meters underwater or if you were 15 meters underwater. The deeper you go, the greater the liquid pressure goes up. One thing that's really interesting is the liquid pressure does not depend on the volume. So if you swim to the bottom of a swimming pool, it's going to feel the same way as if you swim seven feet down in the ocean. You feel the same amount of pressure because it's based on the pressure of the liquid directly above you. It doesn't matter how much liquid's around you, it's what's pushing down on you. The pressure doesn't always point downward. Liquid pressure acts in all directions. So the liquid underneath you and around you is still pushing up on you a little bit too. And so when liquid presses against a surface like your body or an object, it always applies a force perpendicular to that surface. So this is why large ships are able to float. When they sit in the water, the water applies a force perpendicular to the surface and pushes up on the boat.